After years of testing several private search engines, I've settled on my favorite that is now the default on all of my browsers. My journey starts back in 2018 when I was using DuckDuckGo. It was the most accessible and simple privacy search engine, and I especially loved their bangs, which allow you to conveniently send your search to countless sites, but I never loved the results, as I'm not a fan of Bing, which is pretty much exclusively what DuckDuckGo uses. This is a good time to mention that some people love DuckDuckGo results, which makes me outline a disclaimer for this video. This is my journey with my opinions. I promise I'll be asking about your journeys later in the video. Since I didn't like DuckDuckGo's results, I found myself using the bangs pretty much by default before even attempting to see what DuckDuckGo would give me. DuckDuckGo was working against me and not with me, and this is when I knew something needed to change. So I moved over to StartPage, a search engine that privately proxies Google results. This transition happened around the time StartPage was partially acquired by System One, which I didn't find a big deal deal since nothing changed about their privacy policy nor how they conducted themselves internally. In my opinion, they did an okay job of clearing up people's concerns, and I even got to sit down with their CEO to talk about those concerns where I left feeling pretty good about everything. You can watch that interview yourself. Since StartPage proxies Google results, I was getting the results I wanted in a more private manner, and because of this I was much happier with StartPage than DuckDuckGo. Full disclosure, because it's important for me to mention this, after the CEO interview, they offered me a summer internship where I helped them with some how-to videos, which I covered in an announcement. But they're not aware I'm making this video, and um, these are my thoughts, and I hope they don't get mad, but frankly, that's too bad because it's our channel where I'm allowed to speak up. Now, I loved using StartPage. Here's the problem. I couldn't use it anymore since they started getting stricter with blacklisting IP addresses tied to VPN and Tor users. So I couldn't even use the service as someone who uses a VPN or Tor almost every day. It puts me in a position where I had to choose between private searches or privacy from my ISP, and I wasn't willing to make that compromise when there were so many search engines available to me. So yeah, I hopped over to an instance of search, a meta search engine where you customize the results yourself. It's extremely powerful and is the only open source and self-hostable option I tried. It was just too much for me. I was spending more time configuring the search engine to work well than actually doing quality searches. And this is another example of a tool that just wasn't working for me, but against me. So while this is objectively probably the most transparent and most private provider I'm covering today, I just wasn't interested in going that route since I'm all about simplicity in my privacy journey with really no more options at the time, I went back to good old DuckDuckGo. Now, beautiful viewer, I really tried to enjoy it. I would put those Google bangs, then stop and convince myself to give DuckDuckGo a shot for the search. And you know what? Half the times I'd end up having to use the bang anyway because the results were so crap. I just do not like DuckDuckGo results and I don't consider myself a bad searcher. I have read books on this stuff and have no issues with most search engines. I just don't find the results relevant to what I'm looking for a lot of times. The one thing, just to give them credit, that I do love to this day is any development or programming related searches, especially with their integration with Stack Overflow, but that's it. And honestly, it's fantastic. And I think it's the best search engine for that. Then the dark ages. I still overall reluctantly use DuckDuckGo, but I didn't enjoy using it. Um, I tested start page again, but I couldn't because I couldn't access it. I tried search.me again, I tried Google, I tried Quant, I tried Mojik, but simply put, nothing really made me happy and made me want to use it as a daily driver. Until Brave Search was released, offering not a meta search engine, but their own index, which is very unique, and I'll talk about why and what that is soon. It also just so happens that DuckDuckGo's reliance on Bing had become more obvious with several big stories hitting the news that I'm sure many of you heard of. And during that time, Brave Search results kept improving. I can confidently say that Brave Search is my new choice for a privacy search engine for myself, and let me break down why and what my experience has been like the last couple months. First, privacy-wise, it lines up similarly to the alternatives. You're not missing out here. Second, I don't find the results as good as Google, but it's only improving. They've added new features that I feel is making searches better, and I do find the results better than every other privacy search engine I tested, with the exception of StartPage, whose I like the best, since it's just Google. Third, they support banks, just like DuckDuckGo, which is like my favorite thing about DuckDuckGo, so that's a big plus. 
Fourth, this is really important, so listen up. Brave indexes its own results, unlike meta search engines like DuckDuckGo, which just give you search results from someone else. I actually really recommend visiting this search engine map in a description to help you see this. Now, Brave is still using an unknown percentage of results from other search engines as of today, but they're slowly phasing this out as their own index begins to improve over time. The reason this is really important is because I don't think meta search engines reliant on big tech companies are the long-term solution. DuckDuckGo and StartPage are fantastic at giving people private results from Bing and Google respectively, but in regards to offering independent results, Brave and Mojik have the right idea of offering their own independent index to avoid lots of the issues that services like DuckDuckGo are facing that are likely to only uh, frankly get worse as time goes on. Fifth, Brave Search has never blacklisted me once, but neither has any search engine here except StartPage, so it works fine for me in Tor and with my VPN. And finally, I genuinely like using Brave Search. I find the interface modern, I appreciate the features they give me, it feels smooth to use, and it's just a fantastic experience. The one thing that's severely incomplete for me is image search, which as far as I know, and as far as my tests are showing, it's just 100% Bing images, like DuckDuckGo, which means I'm no worse off than I was when I was using DuckDuckGo, but with the better experience everywhere else. A final thing I'll mention, a lot of people are turned off um, by Brave because of their crypto stuff, and I would just ask you to consider that the search engine has nothing to do with the browser, and you can use the search engine in any browser that allows other search engines. I like to try to differentiate those two things, but you do you, I don't really care what search engine you use. Now here's the thing, for me, it's just a search engine. I'm not particularly married to Brave Search, and I don't think anyone should be married to a search engine. It's just a search engine. The important part about this video is to recognize that most search engines bring something to the table. DuckDuckGo offers its collection of results with bangs, StartPage offers more private Google, Search.me offers a transparent option for power users, Mojik offers an independent index, some offer trees, the list goes on and almost all are more private than Google or Bing, so it's normally a net win for most people. I just found that Brave Search works for me and is only improving the more I use it, and it's honestly the happiest I've been with any search engine the last several years on this really long and frustrating journey. Now I promised earlier I want to hear about your journeys, so please let me know in the comments what your experience with different search engines have been. Did you test some that I didn't test? Um, what do you use? What are your top three? Just let me know because I'd love to hear and we want to get an idea of what you all use. And the last thing I'll leave you with, be grateful we have so many great search engine options and definitely give them some love for what they bring to the table because each of them offers something very valuable. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time on Tech.